Who are you? I met Alyssa all the way back in elementary school in an after school program. We grew apart because her mom had her baby brother and so she didn't need to go anymore. But when we reconnected, she had a couple thousand more followers. My name is Alyssa. Uh, I'm 19. I'm Russian, Armenian. I really like painting. I like drawing. I like taking photos. So my highest Instagram follower account was 30,000 followers. So my highest TikTok follower account, I think it's still at like 14,000 followers. Oh, I rarely tell anyone about my account these days because like it's not really like relevant to who I am currently in the moment. It's more like of a vignette of who I was in the past. For Instagram, I used to be when I was 12, I made a fan page for Attack on Titan uh, and then I gained a lot of besties and then, you know, we, I started doing cosplays and then, you know, I gained some cosplay besties and then we just I just kind of snowballed from there and after a while I stopped doing cosplay and I just started posting like my makeup and like selfies and stuff and it's crazy because now I'm like mutuals with some of the people who I was so inspired by. My most famous post, I think, is um, I posted this picture of myself in like these pink fishnet tights and I had like a flower like tucked into it and that's literally, if you check my tag pictures, like so many like aesthetic accounts have used that picture. Um, but most disturbingly, I found that picture on eating disorder Twitter as um, someone's profile pic for Thinspo, I guess, which made me want to vom. Back in the day, I had a certain kind of look, which was like the tomboy, short hair sort of thing. And then I started to grow my hair out because um, I felt like a lot of pressure and stuff to look more feminine from like the people in my small town and whatnot, and maybe myself a little bit too. But like, I feel like I'm being authentic and also fun. Well, um, lucky for me, the authentic self kind of coincides with the one that got a little popular on Instagram. So I think I'll start posting again, maybe. It's just a lot of anxiety, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Like, underperforming with mm -hmm. the likes and stuff, it's still a big nervousness for me. It's like Coke. <laughs> like, okay, like, I don't know. Um, well, it is because like, I don't know, you get like a lot of likes. It's like really, really happy, but just for like a fleeting moment. And then you're like, well, shit, how do I, how do I get that same number or more next time? How do I grow further? How do I do more? I mean, I don't know. I think the point of what I'm doing now is to create. Well, honestly, for me, it requires like a lot of confidence and stuff. Like. I don't know, um, sometimes I get into like moods where I'm like, oh, I'm so pretty, I'm the bestest person ever, and then I'm like, yeah, let's take some selfies, let's do some cute makeup, I have energy. And then sometimes I'm like, really like, not feeling it, and then I just kind of stay in bed. And that's kind of like why my account declined, I think, I was just gotten into like a very sad sort of headspace. When you think about how social media is like manufactured, what do you think that does to like the person who's creating the content and the people that are consuming it? I don't know. They people want to post something that's like the best possible version of themselves and that's not always realistic. Back in like 2016, I found like this role play account that had like like I don't know if this I don't know if the viewer or whoever's watching this may know what I'm talking about, but like um it's like these Instagram accounts and they post a picture of like some influencer or person they find on the internet, like their face and then they like do like, they caption it with like looking for people to role play with as this person, like if we're like sex or whatever. It's kind of fucked. But yeah, no, that would make me so uncomfortable when I found something like, like the instance of that. Running that account was hard, but it wasn't all bad. But then when I, when I searched myself on Pinterest and I found like pictures of me on there um, from my Instagram, that made me feel actually kind of happy because I feel like, I don't know, everyone wants to make an impact on the world somehow and mm -hmm. I feel like it makes me happy if I'm in someone's inspiration board.